Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then I welcome you. If you love watching handbag videos and a little bit of this and that, then certainly hit the subscribe button. But let's go ahead and jump into this video. Y'all, at the time of me recording this video, it is February 2nd, which is my birthday. And y'all, I just want to pause and say thank you to everyone that has reached out to me, whether it be via Instagram, um, via text message, even the ones that drop in comments right now and wishing me a happy birthday. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I am just so in awe, y'all, of the love. Um, it really just warms my heart to know that so many of you out there are thinking of me and are wishing me an amazing happy birthday so thank you guys again and I will say I had an amazing birthday y'all I told my husband last night that I was gonna get up this morning and I was going to go and hit up the mall because I was really wanting to see what was new in store so I did just that y'all and let me tell y'all that shopping trip, it did not disappoint. It did not disappoint. So today, I wanted to just come on and show y'all some of the things that I saw in store, and we're just gonna talk about it, y'all. We, we're just gonna talk about this. Okay, y'all, so to get started, when I got to the mall, the first store that I wanted to make a stop at was Neiman Marcus, because I was really curious to see if they had any of the uh, new items from Marc Jacobs out. And to my surprise, y'all, they did have some new items out. So the first thing that I saw when I walked over into that section were these cute little bags here y'all these are the mini st mark top handle bags and the one in the front i know is called galactic pink i believe is how you say that i thought this was so super cute y'all like so fun and glittery as i was touching it y'all the glitter did not rub off of that bag like it is just so super duper cute it, it did also come in this like silverish gray color that y'all see in the back there too and as y'all can see at the bottom too, they did have it in the mini size as well, the black and then that, again, that silver light color. Yeah, those are really nice. And I can definitely see those as being like fun, like party bags. That's, that's what came to mind when I saw those. It's like, oh yes, let's go to a party. <laughs> and so it was cool to see those. And then I did actually take a look at the snapshot bags too. Now that I own a snapshot bag and know how they carry, I do want to invest in getting another one. Um, They had it in this blue color. It's called Pool. They're a very pretty blue, y'all. I really like that blue. And then also too, they did have it in this lavender color too and then the lipstick pink as well and I love these snapshot bags too because they even come with a little utility pouch as you can see so I think that if I get another snapshot bag then I'll probably want to get one that has that little um, utility pouch attached to it because it was actually a pretty decent size too y'all I really really like that um I did also see it in this like cream like color I didn't get the name of this color but I thought that was really pretty as well and then also too y'all this gray color it was so so gorgeous it was actually called wolf gray and I just thought that was so pretty like such a pretty color so yeah I was really happy and excited to see all of the different snapshot bags now these next bags that I'm gonna show y'all these bags were so so super duper cute. I mean, when I saw these bags, I was like, wow, like they really look like they are very luxe and very good quality. Like, do y'all see these bags? Like, oh my gosh, so, so gorgeous. I actually had to get a close up of this here bag, y'all, because this was so gorgeous. Like, I was trying to see how they did this bag. And it almost looks like they kind of so the um, crystals or whatever this is, whatever this is supposed to be, crystals onto the bag. I don't know. It, it was just cool, y'all. I just really had to stare at that bag and look at it really closely. But all in all, like that bag looked very, very luxe and very, very expensive. I really like, I really like the look of that bag, and I think it'll make for a great date night bag. I did also see the Saint Mark shoulder bag here in the silver color. Very, very gorgeous. Right beside it was the small, the tote bag also in that kind of like metallic silver color. And then moving on up, um, they did also have the sequin little black bag, which I thought was so super cute also. 
And then they also had it in like this kind of like um, tan light color as well. And then I did get to see the new camo bag that just came out. I know that Dazzle Me 77, she has been talking about this bag and she has her eye on it. So Dazzle, here's a close up for you. Here is a close up of this bag. It is so gorgeous in person. I highly, highly recommend this bag. I really loved it. And I loved how they did the tote bag, the lettering on this bag. It's kind of like um, they just took the letters and like um, sewn it onto the bag. So it's really, really nice though. I really love the quality um, of that bag. Like when I had that bag in my hand, it seemed, it felt different than the other canvas bags in the past. Like this one, it seems like they're, they've kind of like elevated the, elevated the material in a sense. Really, really nice, very sturdy light bag as well. And with that being said, I also feel like it's a little bit more weightier than the traditional canvas bags that he has. But I really like that one. Um, I had to play around with that. And as y'all can see, it even matched my outfit. <laughs> like the sales associate, she was trying to get me to take that bag home today. She's like, you need this. It was made for you to get this. You need to just go ahead and take it home. <laughs> but I told her, yeah, nah, I needed to think about this one. And I am. I'm probably going to get it, y'all. I kind of liked it in the large size, too. So I'll pop in a picture of me trying it on in the large size. Because I really, really like that, too. Yeah, that bag is nice. It is very, very nice. And as y'all can see behind me, like they had just got a shipment in. So she was in the process of just taking all of the Marc Jacobs bags out of the plastic and everything. But while I was over there, y'all, I did get to get a peek of the new MCM collection. So here, as y'all can see, they did have it in this um, vanity light. Uh, style bag behind it they did have it in like a satchel they have the tote and I don't know y'all how I feel about this print um I mean it's one that I don't hate but it would have to grow on me in a sense it would really have to grow on me so um yeah I did see that and the sales associate was telling me that um MCM is going to be doing a pop-up shop there soon so I told her to definitely let me know because I do want to know like what new pieces they're going to have in their pop-up shop. But yeah, I am glad that I got to see those up close and personal. Now this next bag though, y'all, this bag was so super cute. The sequin bag in the black and the gold and then um, they also had it in the black and silver. So, so gorgeous. I really like that look of that bag as well. And then here, as y'all can see, I did actually get a little bit of a footage of the backpack as well as the little drawstring bag in that new print too. And then also this tote as well. All right, so before I left this little area, y'all, I did take a look at um, these little like satellite bags from Marc Jacobs. I thought these were really cute too. They did have it in this black color, which is really, really nice. I think I want one of these bags. He also had it in like this, of course, the lipstick pink. I really like lipstick pink, but I don't need any more bags in lipstick pink. <laughs> And then also in this orange color, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll throw it on the screen for y'all. I thought that was really gorgeous as well. And then this bag was new to me, y'all. I had never heard of it before, but it's called the mini bag. And they had it in the, I think this is called petal pink. Yeah, I think that's called petal pink. I did have to play around with this bag because again, I had never heard of it. And it's a really nice size bag, y'all. I really thought it was super cute. And there's the bucket bag right behind it as well too, y'all. I really like his bucket bag too. I think that's a really cute style. But yeah, that is all that I saw from Marc Jacobs. So again, I am glad that I got to just go into the store and see that. Um, and then as I was walking out, I did pass by Chloe. I am just gonna throw in some footage of the new Chloe bags that I saw. I really like the braided detailing on these bags. Like super duper cute. I didn't get the name of them. I was trying to look for the tag in them, but I could not find the tag. So I'll put it on the screen if I do find out what the name of these bags were. But yeah, those are super cute. And then I did also see these two bags that caught my eye too, y'all. They are by Dolce and Gabbana. I think is how you say it. <laughs> and so look at these two bags, y'all. Like so super cute, I'm loving it. And then look at the ones at the bottom there too. Oh, 
yeah. I had so much fun just seeing all the little eye candy, y'all. It was it was a good little trip. So then once I left out of Neiman Marcus, my next store that I just had to go into is Tory Burch. And y'all, I was specifically going into Tory Burch to check out her new diamond quilted pattern bags. And then I also wanted to check and see if they had the Fuchsia Millers in stock because I did have those on my wish list. Um, so upon going in store, y'all, as soon as I walked in the door, the first thing that I saw, y'all, were the diamond quilted bags. And y'all, I was just blown away by the beauty of these bags. Here, this bag right here, y'all, I thought was super cute. It's like a powder pink color, y'all, and it's so, so cute. It, it almost looked white for a second, and I had just stared at it a little bit, and the lady told me, yeah, it is pink. <laughs> But it's such a cute bag, y'all. And when I touched this bag, I was very surprised at the leather. It felt amazing, y'all. I really love the feel of this leather, the um, softness and the squishiness of it. So I am now considering getting this bag, y'all, because I just love it. I think it's so super cute. I'm just gonna keep my eye peeled to it, though, because I know with Tory Burch, that it will eventually go on sale. So I'm just gonna just watch out and see if I can catch it on sale. And then I was able to get a glance of the Ella totes, y'all. These totes are actually really pretty. Um, In the past, when I went into the store, I never really paid them much attention. But today, I they really caught my eye and I thought they were super duper gorgeous. Very beautiful bags. This bag right here though, y'all, is also cute. I really, really loved it. So this is another one that I think I need to just add to my list. And then I did actually get to see the um, Lee Roswell bags, y'all. Y'all know I did recently acquire the petite Lee Raswell in that wheat grass color and just fell in love with the silhouette. I do think I wanna get it in the regular size um, too, y'all. The regular size is actually right here. This like, um, the one here in the front, it's like a caramel like color block looking bag. So that's the regular size. I did look at the large again and I just don't think I'm gonna get that large size, y'all. It's just, because of the weight, of, because of the size of that bag, I just feel like that strap that comes with it is just not practical for that bag. And that's just my opinion. But I do think that is a really nice bag. Now I did go ahead and mosey on over and take a look at the shoes. And unfortunately y'all, they, they did not have the Fuchsia Miller in stock. Um, I did actually show the pictures to the sales associate and she told me that they had just shift all of that stuff back because they would they were going to be putting those in the outlet because it did not sell like they thought it was going to sell and so i was really bummed that i get, didn't get to see it in person because i really wanted to see that sandal in person before pulling the trigger on it and she told me that the stock photo of that shoe was not true to color that it was a lot darker than what it was showing online. But I think I am going to probably just order it and see if I like the color. But I did go ahead and just take a peek at the shoes, y'all. As y'all can see, these shoes, they're just so gorgeous. This Miller sandal at the top really caught my eye, though. I really like this shoe. So I might add that one to the list. And then, y'all, I got to see the famous shoe that everyone was talking about and raving about last summer, the Kira Little Sports sandals y'all <laughs> these sandals are so gorgeous in person and let me tell y'all the girlies were right when they said that this shoe is comfortable I tried this shoe on y'all and no lie as soon as I slipped my foot into them like I just felt like I was like stepping on a bed of clouds <laughs> Like the shoe is extremely comfortable. I did try on uh, my true size, which is a seven, and the shoe fit perfectly, y'all. So I was so excited to finally be able to see those shoes in person. Um, and then I did also get to check out more of the Miller sandals. But again, after checking out those sandals, y'all, the other ones that I saw, those are the ones that I am going to need to get my hands on because I really love the bedazzle on that shoe really cute so after leaving Tory Burch y'all my next stop was Michael Kors I was on a mission y'all to see the Marilyn satchel I know that Miss Percival had showed her Marilyn satchel and when she did I was really intrigued and curious 
So I definitely wanted to go in store and see that bag, y'all. So upon walking into the store, I was immediately greeted by a sales associate, y'all. And we just automatically like kicked it off and started vibing. She was such a sweetheart, y'all. And she really made the whole store experience so like luxurious, you know? It was just so luxurious. Like, like I was able to make myself at home there, y'all. And it was just amazing. Like I spent most of the time in the Michael Kors store. <laughs> So as I looked around y'all, she did actually offer me some champagne. So I was able to sip on me some champagne and just look at all of the gorgeous bags. It was definitely a vibe y'all. So the first bags that I stumbled across were the Tribeca bags. Now this bag style y'all is new to Michael Kors. It kind of reminded me of the Soho bag almost. But I really love this bag. It is super cute. The quilting detailing on it is very, very nice. Um, she did tell me that this leather was actually sheepskin. Very luxe feeling. I really, really loved it. The color choice was amazing. And so they did have it in like this kind of rose color. It almost reminded me of Primrose a little bit. They had it in this gorgeous red color and this blue color. Um, this camel light color. There were so many options, y'all, when it came to the colors of this bag. Um, and again, like, very, very nice quality. Like, as soon as I put my hands on it, I just knew that that bag was very well made. And then I did go on over and take a look at the card cases. And he did have his usual colors, um, signature colors. Had the black, the, the brown signature. Very, very nice. And then I did have to take a look at the little card cases here too. These are so cute. I really like them. And that camo color though, y'all, that is such a pretty color. I really like that. I think I might end up getting a bag in that color. I did actually look again at this pink color too. Very, very gorgeous. And then I did also get to take a look at the retail version of the Jet Set um, camera bag that I have yet to add to my collection, but I will. <laughs> I will. So yeah, I really like these y'all and I just can't decide though which color I want. I, I just cannot make up my mind. Um, I did really like the black one that, that they had in store. So I might consider getting that black pebble leather from the retail because it was super nice. Um, I was also very happy to see the Voyagers, y'all. This is a um, OG style. The Voyager has been around for so long. And um, as y'all can see, they did have it in a few different colors. They're very pretty. And again, in that pebble grain leather. I love that black pebble grain. That's really, really nice. I did also get to see the Maryland satchel, y'all. I was so happy to know that they had the Maryland satchel in store. So as y'all can see here, I am trying it on in this red color block color. I really, really love this color, y'all. I think it's very, very gorgeous. Um, and I love the um, contrasting color on the uh, handle and the strap. Like, that's just very dope. I love that. Love it, love it. And I'll show y'all the side, too. As y'all can see, it has, like, the cream color on the side there. And then I did also try it on in this blue color, too. And I really like the blue, too. So I kind of make, uh, make up my mind, y'all. I already know that I am going to get the satchel. But I need to decide on whether or not I want to get it in the red or the blue. I'm kind of leaning towards the red though because I do really, really like it. It is gorgeous. And then here they also had it in this like camel like color too. And again, just that contrasting of the handles, y'all. I just really love that. And then here I did do a side by side. So there is the smaller one and the smaller one is what Miss Percival has. She has that, that style. I don't think hers is that color. I can't remember which color hers is, but I know she has the smaller one. So there's a smaller one and then the medium size right there. But again, yeah, I really got to get that medium one, y'all. That is gorgeous. I love it. And then I did actually get to see uh, the new print that Michael Kors has come out with. So he did have a card case as well as like this slim kind of like card case situation. Very, very nice and compact. So it has a slip pocket in the front there and then in the back there it has four card slots and then another slip pocket and then there's a zip on the top too. So I thought that was really cute. 
Again, though, the print, uh, I don't know. It's one that I don't hate, but just like with a uh, new MCM print, this is also one that, uh, yeah, definitely I would have to grow on me. <laughs> it would definitely have to grow on me. Now, y'all, this is another bag that I was very curious about for a while. This is the Lily bag, y'all, and this bag is definitely giving me old school Michael Kors vibes as well. I really love how this bag looks on my frame, y'all, and the black was just gorgeous. Very, very beautiful. And as y'all can see, like, with me taking the front view, you can see, like, the hardware, the MK hardware. I just love it. I think that is just so dope. Um, and then here is the the inside so I did get um, I had to I had to do a little close-up on this bag y'all because I was just yeah I was amazed that it's so gorgeous so as you can see it does have the two outer pockets there on the side on the outside and then inside you do get that um that zipper compartment there as well yeah I really like that so this is another one that I have also added to the list and then it did come in other colors as y'all can see it they um did have the signature brown as well as the vanilla in store and then they also had it in the luggage as well so I think I'm leaning towards the black though yeah, I think I'm leaning towards the black. It'll be between the black and the luggage as to which color I decide to go with. And then moving on, y'all, the next bag that I tried out was this duffel light bag here in this pale gold color. I thought this was such a cute bag as well, so I wanted to try it on and see how it looks on my frame. And I really loved it. Loved it, loved it. And then the sales associate did bring this bag over for me to try as well. She told me that it was in their clearance section right now. So, of course, I did try the bag on. But, but I slowly took the bag off, y'all, because she told me that it is made of real snake skin. And that's a lot of snake skin. <laughs> so, I was like, thank you for showing me that bag, but no thank you. <laughs> Next up, I did take take a look at some of the shoes that was out there, y'all. I do love Michael Kors shoes. They're very comfortable for the most part. I do own heels as well as sneakers when it comes to the brand. I um, mean, these really cute pink pumps here. So gorgeous. And y'all, I made it back to the clearance section and this bag right here just took my breath away. I wanted to just leave out of the store with this bag, y'all, but the only reason why I didn't is because I have bags already in the shade, and I really, really, really don't need to do this to myself. But y'all, I feel like I made a mistake leaving this bag in store. It's just so gorgeous. So here, y'all, is the Maryland Medium Satchel in this beautiful fuchsia color. Oh. Y'all, this color is gorgeous. This color is so, so gorgeous. Okay, we gotta move on. We gotta move on because I can't keep looking at that bag. It's just too cute. <laughs> All right, so more shoes, y'all. I did pick up these shoes here because they reminded me so much of my sister, DJ King. Like, I can definitely see her rocking this shoe and rocking it well. Like, this shoe was super duper gorgeous. I really like the zipper detailing on the front of this shoe as well. And then as I continue to make my way through the clearance section, y'all, my essay, and yes, I am saying my essay because we definitely, like, we definitely created a bond in the store, so now she is my essay. <laughs> but she told me that she wanted to style me, y'all. She was like, you know, I'm just looking at you, and I think that this dress in particular would look absolutely stunning on you. And so I'm like, what dress are you talking about? <laughs> So y'all, she had me try on this dress, right? And look at this dress, y'all. And by the way, don't mind my cozy socks, okay? I had to be warm today, I had to be warm. <laughs> but y'all, look at this dress. Like, you cannot tell me this is not a bad dress. This dress, y'all, was everything. I absolutely loved it. Um, I even tried it on with this MK chain belt, which I thought was definitely a look. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you are really trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> and so yes, y'all, I tried this dress on and needless to say, I, I am actually gonna go ahead and tell y'all that yes, I did grab this dress, I did. I did have to end up um, placing an order in store for it though because they did not have my size. 
Here in this picture, I did try it on in a size large and it was a little like baggy in a sense in the top part. So that's why I had to just order um, a size down because I feel like it'll look a little bit better if I were to just go with a medium. But yeah, I love that um, dress. It is just so cute. It's, it's definitely a look. And it actually is available on the website too. So I'll leave it in the description box below for y'all to um, check it out if you want to. So let's, let's keep on moving on, y'all. Let's keep on moving on. And as I was actually trying on this dress, y'all, I had to get a snap of this because I definitely felt this when I was in store. Kors VIP, luxury at your service. Like, definitely a luxury feel. And here it says, members enjoy insider benefits, special gifts, and an unparalleled shopping experience. And I felt all of that, y'all. Like, this is the truth. <laughs> So, yeah, if you're ever able to go into a Michael Kors retail store, I really hope that your experience is like mine as well, if not better, because, yeah, that was definitely a, definitely an experience. Moving on, y'all, I'm almost done with Michael Kors, but I did stop by and take a look at this bag here, which I thought was a cutie, cutie as well. It's also in this pale gold color. I think that would be a nice like date night bag. And then he did have this tote here too, y'all, which, you know what, I didn't get the name of this tote, but it was really nice. It was really nice and I love like how squishy it was. Like it just collapsed as soon as I touched it. <laughs> I really love that. Then I did take a look at the shades as well. I really do like Michael Kors shades. I only have one pair, y'all, and I am looking to add another to my collection. So I did try on these right here. I just thought they were so cute. So super duper cute. I tried them on over my eyeglasses, so they kind of are sitting like weird right there. But yeah, those are really cute. I like them. And then here are another pair of shoes that I had got a photo of. A bucket hat. And then this little crossbody set, I thought it was super cute as well. And then this bag right here is a new one, y'all. I believe that this bag is called the Gia bag, but it was super cute too. It also, it, it actually reminded me a lot of the Morella bag from the outlet store is what it reminded me of. And then this bag was super cute as well. Um, what is the name of that bag? I think that one, they had it in black and they also had it in gold too. It is called the Mila. Okay, so that bag is called the Mila. I really like that. That was a really cute bag too. Now this bag, y'all. Okay. Now I had heard of the Astors in the past, but I had never seen one in person. And I believe my sister Keisha actually has an Astor bag. But y'all, I got to see the Astor shoulder bag as well as the Astor tote. And I really, really love the bag. So the Astor tote, it almost gave me like satchel vibes, but here um, is how it looks on my frame. And I really, really like that bag, y'all. I thought it was super cute. And then here, it, here I am trying on the shoulder bag. And I really like that too. Yeah, there's so many bags, y'all, that I now want for Michael Kors. Like, it's, it's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> um, before I left out of the store, the last thing that I checked out, y'all, were the watches. So I did take a look at the watches here. I don't wear a watch, y'all, but I feel like I want to get into it. Like, I want to have at least one watch. One watch um, in my whole, like, little jewelry collection. So I think I am going to get a watch from Michael Kors. Because they were really cute. All right, y'all, so that was a lot. I told y'all I spent a lot of time in the Michael Kors store. So the last store, y'all, that I went to was Coach. And in the Coach store, y'all, I absolutely had to go into the store because I wanted to first see the heart bags. Um, I know that I had said um, in previous videos that I wanted to go ahead and get a Coach heart bag. So I just wanted to play around with it and see what all I could fit in them. And then of course I had to go and see the new Tabby bag. And my store did have all sizes so I was really happy about that. So upon walking in y'all they did have this cute little setup going on because they were already celebrating Valentine's Day. So it was so cool y'all because they had like candy and um, cookies and water and sparkling water like it was such a vibe so I really enjoyed that shopping experience as well and so the first thing of course that I started playing around with was the heart bag um, they did have it in this beautiful like grayish blue color 
I thought this was a really pretty color, y'all. And I will say, the color on the website is not, it's not true to color on that website, y'all. It says gray blue on the website, but the stock photo looks straight up gray. <laughs> It looks straight up gray, but in person, you can definitely see the hint of blue um, on that leather. So yeah, I thought that was really pretty. Um, of course, the one that I really wanted was the black one. So I played around with that one, y'all, but I did like the cream too. So I don't know what I'm going to do, y'all. I don't even know if I'm going to get this bag because I did play around with what fit. So as y'all can see, I did put my little coach glitter pouch in here. I put my coach key holder or yeah, key holder, a knit slip gloss, and then I also had my Chanel mirror in the bag. And that's pretty much all I could fit in this bag, y'all. And this was the regular size heart bag. So it really doesn't hold a lot of stuff. So I'm really just trying to think like if I even want to even get this bag, you know? Real reason why I really want this bag is because of the shape. I think it's just the cutest and then I love the quilted detailing on it. But as far as practicality goes, it's not a practical bag at all. <laughs> um, and the small one, forget about it. It is out of the question. I will not. <laughs> I actually tried to put my keys in there, y'all. And as y'all can see, like, they, yeah, the keys are not going in that bag. <laughs> and then here are all the heart bags together. And then here I am playing around with the cream and the black. The cream, y'all, really, I really that I really love the look of that bag even though I know if I get that bag it's probably gonna get dirty fairly easy because here I am holding the display bag and you all aren't gonna be able to see it but there were so many marks on that bag y'all it was ridiculous so I I just don't know I just don't know when it comes to the heart bag but moving on y'all moving on the next bag that I just had to play around with were the tabbies so here y'all, just showing y'all an array of all the colors there. So beautiful, so gorgeous. This bag is cute y'all, but I will tell y'all that <laughs> it did not move me the way that I thought that it was going to move me. So I did actually try it on in the 33 size and I thought that this bag was super duper cute, but unfortunately I don't think I am going to get this bag y'all because I feel like it needed to be a little bit more taller in height in a sense um it's a little too long for my liking but overall it is a very gorgeous bag um i did also try it out in the size 26 size 2 and i like this bag i think it's really cute on my frame if i could pick a bag out of this collection it would probably be this one this is that one right here but it's not a bag though y'all that i would add to my wish list yeah, it's not. I, I don't know what it is. Like, it just wasn't screaming at me. It was The bag wasn't talking to me like I thought it was going to talk to me, <laughs> unfortunately. And then here it is in the size 20 size as well. For now, I think I will pass on this new Tabby collection, but I am glad that I got to see it in store. I, I am also glad that I got to um, really play around with the 33 too. So here y'all, I actually um, was just trying to see like how my full size wallet would look inside of this bag. As y'all can see, I am actually rocking my um, my full size Clements wallet from Louis Vuitton and I actually put it in the bag and it pretty much swallowed my wallet y'all. Like this bag is so huge on the inside. I can definitely see this bag being like an everyday bag if I did get it. I did actually go and take a look at the other tabbies and I was actually shocked to see that my store still had the metallic um, tabby in store as well that was uh, from the Shine collection. I was really surprised to see that in store. And I was also really happy to see the new card cases here too, the little puppy card cases. I think these are really, really cute, y'all. Um, I really wanted to see the pink in store, the petunia. So I'll go ahead and put in a picture of that, y'all. This is such a gorgeous card case. I would have left the store with that card case, y'all, but that's the only one that they had in store and it was their display and I did not want that. So I'll probably order that card case online just to have. But yeah, I really thought that was cute. Very, very gorgeous color. And then this net bag style, y'all. 
this next bag style shocked me. Now, this is a bag I didn't think was gonna speak to me, but y'all, this bag was screaming at me, okay? <laughs> it was practically screaming at me. And that is the Broom Carry All. Y'all, this bag is so gorgeous. So I did actually try on the Broom Carry All in the regular size here at Dr. C. I just love this bag. I have absolutely added it to my list. I did want to also elaborate a little bit more when it comes to this bag, y'all. So one of the main reasons why I didn't really pay it much attention online is because of how it's shaped on the uh, at the top, how it kind of goes like narrow at the top. And in the past, I haven't had the best luck with bags like that. But y'all, this one I really love. Uh, I do want to apologize in advance because I did not get a picture um, of it on the inside. But I'll go ahead and put in the stock photo. So as y'all can see, I love this because even though it goes narrow at the top, when you open it up, y'all, you are able to actually widen the bag and be able to see your items. So I really, really love this about that uh, about this bag. And then also, too, another concern of mine was the opening, y'all. But the opening is going to be perfect. So with the top handles, it does come with the snap closure at the top, as y'all can see. But I would probably only use that snap when I'm storing the bag. When I'm actually carrying the bag, I will leave it unsnapped. That way it's easy for me to go in and out of the bag. Because when it comes to the closure of the bag, it just has that snap closure on it as well. Which is easy just to open, get your things in and close back up. So I really, really love that. And also to the fact that the handles do go down. So that's also a really big plus for me. And I do want to show y'all the back side here too. As y'all can see, there are hooks for a crossbody strap. So this bag does come with a crossbody strap, but the way that this bag is made, y'all, as far as like the style, silhouette, I think that this bag would be great just as like a crook of the arm bag or as a top handle. And then I did also try it on in the larger size as well. And that larger size is a gorgeous one too, y'all. But I think that the regular size is going to actually be perfect for me, y'all. That bag is just so sophisticated. And I feel like it just screams like boss bag, you know? Like boss bag, like you are about your business. Yeah. I love that bag, y'all. So I am definitely going to have to go ahead and get that one. And I did do a side-by-side -side so that you all can see them side-by-side. -side. Yeah, they're very, very gorgeous. That bigger one, y'all, I can definitely see Dooney at it 615 rocking that bag. Like, yes, I can definitely see her rocking that bag. It's, it's cute. It's really, really cute. And I love that those bags actually do come with feet, too. Did actually get to see the idol bag too, y'all. Which this idol bag, it almost reminds me of that Tory Burch bag I just showed y'all. But I like the Tory Burch better. I really do like the Tory Burch better, y'all, in that sense. And then my store did actually have the Lana bags, y'all. Those bags are so gorgeous. I'm actually shocked they're not on sale yet, because I feel like they should be on sale right now. But yeah, my store did still have those in store. And then I did get to see the new Heart Cassie bag, y'all. And this bag I thought was super cute, too. Like, it, it is kind of like, it's playful to me. I love the color, the chain, um, the heart chain strap. It's just, it's just such a vibe. Very gorgeous bag. I'm, I'm not going to say that I wouldn't get it, but I did not add it to my list today. It's not one that I feel like I have to have, but I did think it was a super cute bag. Um, and then I did even get to try on this one too. I believe this is called the Luna bag, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I, I was able to play around with that bag too. Out of the two bags, I do like the Cassie the best though. It was really gorgeous. And let's pause for a minute, y'all, because we didn't even talk about my outfit. So as y'all can see, y'all, I went with a very comfortable look today. I am rocking these black boots, combat boots that I got from JCPenney. Love them so much. Rocking my Old Navy jeans because I love Old Navy jeans. <laughs> uh, this shirt, this mustard shirt that I have on, y'all, I did get from Shein. And then this very comfortable, like, um 
vest. This vest is really nice, y'all. It actually has like Sherpa lining in it as well. And I got this vest from um, Old Navy. And then of course the back is my Coach Ruby in this olive color, y'all. And I absolutely enjoy carrying this bag today. It was a, a very good shopping bag. So I really, really enjoyed it. But yeah, so yeah, let's go ahead and get back to the goodies. <laughs> Okay, so the last two bags, y'all, that I saw were the sequin bags. I did actually get to see up close the swinger bag in that sequin kind of uh, material. And then I also got to see it in the, I believe that's the studio bag. It's called the studio bag. So I'm glad that I was able to see those as well. And that's pretty much it, y'all. That pretty much wrapped up my whole, like, shopping trip. Um, I didn't go into any other stores after Coach, but the next time I go to that mall, I do want to go and check out some of the luxury stores like Gucci and Louis Vuitton. Um, but yeah, y'all, that is that. Um, let me know in the comments too if any of the bags that I showed today caught your eye. I would love to know. And I do hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you did, then certainly give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.